What's up you guys and welcome back to my channel. I am Jacqueline Gerling if you've never been here before and if you have been here before then thank you so much for coming back and watching a video. I am so excited about this video today. I've wanted to share this for some time. This is going to be a video about my acne journey and its ups and its downs and if you struggle with acne you will know that there are lots of ups and downs. So I really just want to share this video to help you have someone to relate to when I was at my worst point which was definitely had its ups and its downs about the beginning of this year it was at my toughest point. I watched a lot of these videos and they really really helped me so I just want to hope share my story and I hope it helps you and I hope you feel if you need anything you can always talk to me comment below I'd love to to lend out a hand and help and talk and anything I know how isolating and hard and strugglesome honestly that acne can be so I really do relate to you during this time but just as a disclaimer I am not a doctor and I have no form trying to give a recommendation I am simply just sharing my story and I just wanted to make sure to state that what worked for me it may not work for you but I hope it would I just I am not a doctor and I can't really give any recommendations so just a disclaimer out there also today I'm choosing to wear makeup for this story. I know a lot of people don't wear makeup in their acne journeys. I wish I felt as confident to talk without my makeup on on camera. Maybe I will get there one day, still on my journey. But until I'm there, this is me. This is me sharing my journey where I'm at and whatnot. So I will be putting up lots of pictures, lots of videos, and I will show you guys exactly how I look today without makeup on. But I also, I'm just gonna be posting a lot of past stuff and pictures with my, when my acne was at my worse my journey that kind of thing with all that being said let's jump into the acne journey video okay so i'm just gonna put it out there like a timeline and i'm just gonna share with you guys what all i tried and used and then i'm also gonna be sharing with you in the end what really worked for me and helped me actually really manage my acne so basically i started having acne you know when i was a teenager it was very typical acne struggles it was just you know i had some pimples on my face i did always struggle with cystic acne a little bit but i wouldn't get those that often until around maybe 16, it started to ramp up just a little bit more. I would get just a few more here and there. So I started the Clinique three-step process and that really helped for a couple years. I would say until I was probably around 18, 19, I can't remember exactly, but I would use that. So it worked for two to three years, it really helped. And then I started to get really bad cystic acne again. It got a lot worse and worse than it was before. And so I was like, okay, this time maybe I'll go see a dermatologist. I went to a dermatologist and she recommended to put me on an antibiotic for about six months. I was on menocycline and also a topical and I was on Epidu Forte. During that time, that was probably the beginning of my insecurities and experience with like not wanting to go out without makeup on and feeling very shy about my face, feeling very insecure about my face, feeling like people were looking at my acne a lot. So. That's what led me to go see the dermatologist. And I'll show pictures here. So this is what my skin looked like before I started um, Epiduo and Menocycline. And this is what it looked like um, at the end. As you can tell, it really did help. I wouldn't say it was a drastic, you know, I, or it was pretty drastic, but I wouldn't say it was like 100% gone. I definitely still dealt with at least a couple pimples every month that kind of are like cystic pimples and little pimples, some here and there, some afterwards, but it wasn't that really bad acne. So I felt like it was really manageable and I thought this is what helps me and I thought maybe this would just kick it to the curb. I've heard of a lot of people who are like, finally I got the antibiotic and just I never had to do anything else and that, that they take topical and that's what it works. So I was hoping I was that case as well and it did work for a while. I'd say it worked for about maybe a year, year and a half, that kind of thing. And then it started ramping back up again and it just started getting bad again. So. After that, I went and tried tretinoin. It helped, but I was just so peely. My face peeled like crazy. And then after tretinoin, I tried Curology. And Curology, still it was kind of the same, helped a little bit. Nothing was just crazy results. It always was pretty manageable overall. It wasn't enough for me to ever feel like I wanted to go do Accutane. It was all manageable enough, though I never felt like I could go out without really wearing makeup at all. And I would say all of this happened over college. And then I would say some of the topicals like tretinoin and curology that happened right after college. Cause I remember specifically being at my internship right before I graduated college and kind of like wanting to like hide my face sometimes in my chin area and like kind of like talking to people but doing this and like using a water bottle to like cover my face and just feeling that 
the insecurity like somebody's staring at this they're wondering like it makes you feel like you're like you have bad hygiene it makes you feel like people think you're gross and ugly and it really does make you feel so insecure and if there's anything i can share with you right now if you're struggling with this is you know try to literally tell yourself that's not true but i also know like how hard it is to kick those thoughts and then they're they're a struggle it's really honestly so hard to kick the insecurity because it feels like it's everything to you and especially if you have any struggle with cystic acne you can literally feel them on your face they're actually physically painful and so that was really hard for me because it physically hurt so I remember that specifically at my internship was such a hard thing because I was like blocking and trying to hide. Then as soon as I, you know, graduated college and started a job, it was okay. I mean, it was just the typical up and down. I'd get some really bad and then sometimes it would be okay. That kind of thing. I was doing tretinoin a lot then and curology and those kind of things. And then I tried this. If you are you know google too far on the world wide web you will find some crazy things that people tell you to do like taking 15 pills of pantothenic acid a day and i tried that except i tried only 12 and i think i only did that for like a month and i was like this is nuts there's no way that i can be taking 12 pills still not even what people tell you to take in this work and if this be okay it just didn't i didn't feel like it was the answer for me it felt like a lot i felt like i was literally like dowsing myself in pills every day and I was like there's got to be something else that I personally feel better about doing so I decided to not do that in the beginning of this year I started struggling even more with it and so I decided you know what once and for all maybe I could kick my acne by just doing something totally different and I'm gonna go for drunk elephant so I completely stripped myself of any product other than drunk elephant products because they're a little bit more natural and I actually posted a video about it because about a month in my skin seemed to be improving a lot. Well, after maybe a couple weeks after I posted that video, oh my gosh, my face was angry. It was mad. And I actually pulled down the video because I was like, I can't, I cannot post this video and feel okay behind it and literally be having my worst acne ever. So I took the video down and I was lost at that point so I even decided what if I completely don't use any products so I stopped using everything altogether I literally no makeup no nothing literally just a couple weeks I literally was like a little hermit <laughs> so this is me not barefaced I will show you guys barefaced later on today but this is me with covering up a few of like my biggest pimples with just a little bit of makeup like on the pimple because it is so hard to not just cover them up a little bit. So here is day one of caveman regimen, my uneven skin. The main active pimples that I have right now are down here. A lot of this is scarring and just uneven skin. Here we go. But hide my face, I felt so insecure, but I was like, maybe I don't need to be using anything at all. And that made my face really angry, so. That didn't work. At the beginning of this year, I remember feeling honestly the absolute worst about it that I've ever felt. I will show you this specific picture. I remember taking this photo, I was on a trip to LA and I just felt so freaking sad about myself and so down on myself. I felt ugly, I felt just bad. I felt so insecure. I remember feeling like my face hurt. I was in like in literal pain. My face was like would peel, but also it would be hurting from the cystic acne. I just felt like I was, not only was it, I was torturing my face, but I was torturing my mental health about it too. I was just telling myself horrible things about myself. I was, I had to be wearing makeup. I literally wanted to hide under the covers if anyone else was in the room at the same time as me. I felt so bad about myself. I, when I had to take off my makeup at night, I literally, dreaded it. I would literally procrastinate taking off my makeup because even though the makeup didn't make me feel much better, it made me feel 10 times worse when I wasn't there. It was just really hard. I remember feeling so down about myself. So I thought, you know what, maybe this is time. I need to go back to the dermatologist and see what other options there were. I talked to a friend and she took spiralamactone and I was like, let me see what this is about. I looked it up. There are possible side effects that could happen. So I took it a lot into consideration and I was like, just trying to decide the benefit versus the cost and so I decided that I just wanted to try it and so I went to the doctor and I want to say it was April when I finally decided to go 
take Spyro. Then the doctor told me this it takes about three months and she put me on a topical so she put me back on Epidio since I told her that really did seem to work in the past it just didn't stay. And so she put me on spiralactone and she said it would take about three months to see a lot of results. And I actually started seeing results in like two months. Three months definitely was the mark where it was like I saw my, my best results. And then once I was like at the six month mark, I was blown away. I mean, you can see right now I, I, have, I have some acne marks and scars a little bit, but I don't have one pimple i mean i think i have a little pimple right here but i don't have one pimple on my face right now and i would say that i don't get pimples very often anymore which is just like the craziest thing to say spiro is technically blood pressure medicine you can talk to your doctor about it if it's something that you're interested in talk to your dermatologist about it it's for your hormones so for mine my acne was hormonal especially because it was really in here and other places but it was really bad hormonally hormones were a big part of my acne also hereditary because my acne was hormonal that's why it could help me and that's why my dermatologist thought it would be a viable thing to try so it has definitely changed my life i feel like a different person without acne though i wish i didn't feel that way i wish i could say that i was like in my worst acne but i found this great you know inner beauty with myself i i can't say that i never i never specifically found that but i did learn through all of it that i wish i was kinder to myself i wish i was nicer to myself if there's anything that you can do today it's to try to love yourself even with acne our society tells us and we tell ourselves that we cannot be beautiful if we have acne but that is not true don't listen to that lie don't tell yourself that it's just it's not true but i know how hard it is i know how much of a struggle it can be when you're going through the worst part of your acne or the up and down struggles with acne and so i just wanted to come on here hop on here and tell you guys my acne story i wanted to share this for a while and i hope my story in some way can give you somewhat hope or just even just someone to relate to and hear that you know i've been through it i'm i am on the other side of it even though i definitely always worry i'm like will it come back what will happen but you just have to take it day by day. And that's what I'm learning more and more in 2020 is that you really have to be kind to yourself, be kind to others and take it day by day and you'll get to the other side of it. I really did not think at the beginning of this year that I would ever be able to say I haven't had a cystic pimple in months. It's just nuts. I can't even imagine life without it. I, I didn't have any side effects from spiralactone. It's something to talk to your doctor about if you want to you know these kind of things having a dermatologist really does help i learned that to try to make a go of it alone i'm like there's someone out there who knows skin so talking to a dermatologist about this really helped me and also talk to the people in your life about it they love you they they will not shame you they will not make you feel worse about having acne i had a friend who went through acne struggles as well and it helps so much to talk to her about this ask your friends if they've ever been through this ask people reach out to people do not isolate yourself it can be so isolating i even like had people in my life and isolated myself about it so reach out to others love on yourself you'll get through this i'm happy to say i am at a point where i feel like my acne is so manageable my skin may not be perfect there are other things that once the acne went away i was like great now there's other things for me to focus on that's the perfectionist to me but i feel happier in my skin i feel better about myself and you'll get there too and you'll get through the other side of it so i hope this video helped you in some way today just feel related to because i do i relate to you and i i know what you're going through and um feel free to comment down below if you need anything ever just you know reach out to me i'd love to talk to you and share with you about our stories and, and just you know be there to help you at all if you need anything so thank you guys so much for watching this video and to comment down below if um, you want have any questions about this or anything that you'd like to know i can always respond or maybe even make another video if that's something that y'all be interested in thank you guys so much for watching i hope that if you are struggling with acne right now that it gets better don't forget to comment subscribe like all the things and i can't wait to see you guys in the next video bye guys